when you ho as you hover over, you'll notice that if I go over and below the staff line, it would add the legend lines for me. But for right now, we're just going to enter one note at a time, a C major scale. Real simple. Okay. Now what I'm going to go ahead and tell you right away is that you will probably mess up. <laughs> right? You'll miss that or no. If you do so, for example, if I'm supposed to put a G here and I accidentally hit an A, you'll notice that when I put a note in, it turns purple, or whatever the lavender color is, when I put that in. That means it's already now the active note. So if I put a note in and I mess up, I'm supposed to put a G in and I put an A instead, you can do a couple things. Uh, the easiest thing, though, to do to fix that, you can either click and drag and drag it down if you wanted to re repair it, fix it, put it in the right place, or I actually feel like the fastest way to do this is your up and down arrow key will move the note up and down on the ledger line as well, on the staff line. Okay, so if you mess up and put a note in the wrong place, just use the arrow keys up and down to change that. Right. Go through here, and I keep messing up. Get my C scale down. All right. <clears throat> now, to alter some notes, so for example, let's talk first about putting notes in, okay, change the half notes, whatever we want to do. Now, if you wanted, for example, to put in, I'm going to come down now, and instead of a C major scale coming down, I'm going to do a C minor scale coming down. So my second note would be what? Natural minor, by the way, right? Okay, B flat, B flat. Okay, so I'd add a flat to the note about the note that I'm selecting. So I basically turn that on or off. So I make it a flat, and I'd add a B flat. All right. Next note would be. A flat. A flat. Okay, then I got to go to a G natural, right? So I go back to un unclick the flat, add a G, add an F. Then I got to go back, add an E flat this time, and then D and then a C. Okay. So to alter the notes, I add the alteration, right? So if I were wanted to do um, some kind of other root scale, add a sharp, whatever, you get the point. And the same thing with adding, for example, dotted rhythms. If I wanted to have a quarter note, dotted quarter note, I'd add that value, then change it, maybe I'd go to an eighth note here, and click every single time, whatever. Okay. So to add, add any kind of alteration, you select the value of the note first, then you, then you select whatever alteration, turn on the alteration that you want. Okay. Pretty basic, pretty simple. For entering rest, it's the same thing. You have to go over here and select a rest value. So if I put a C, then I want to rest, put a rest, then another, then a D, or whatever. And a D, etc. Okay, if I want to go back and forth. This process is painstakingly slow. <laughs> you point and click every single note. Imagine if I had a whole score or a whole piece that I was doing and I had to put every single note in manually like this, it would take a long time. But it is the most basic method. So altering notes, things like that, um, that's one way to do it. Now, we're going to start adding in some shortcuts to make this a little faster. All right. So let's first talk, uh, let's go ahead and just undo stuff. And a shortcut in Finale is the same as it is in anything, Control z or in Unmac, it's, it's Command-Z. So if you do that, Command-Z, and you do that a whole bunch of times, you'll notice you keep undoing, 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 all the way back to where I have nothing on my screen. So I've done nothing. I undid it all the way back to the end. The second method is a combination of the, the, the two other ones, the first one and the last one we're going to talk about. Second method for rendering notes, you still, I start with a chord note, right? Okay, you still click and add your note here. Okay? But the difference is we're going to change the value in what we're adding by using our, our, our keyboard. Now we're going to do this by using the keypad, so this, the part of your keyboard here that's on the end, the numpad, right? Not the key row, not the number row, but the key, the numpad over here on the right. <coughs> And you'll notice that when I hit, for example, I, it starts on the chord. If I hit the number four, 
Notice that my note value changed from a quarter note to an eighth note. Okay, so five in, on your numpad, the number five in the numpad is, is what I consider home base. That's a quarter note. The, the smaller the number you get, the smaller the note value. So if four is an eighth note, three is a sixteenth note, two is a thirty-second note, and one would be a, a sixty-fourth note. Here we're going to use those, but it's there. So you notice as I change those values, if I go down four, three, sixteen, thirty-second, sixty-fourth, or five, I go to number six, it's a half note, seven is a whole note, eight's a double whole note, but again, you probably never use that. So what I can do now is, for example, if I wanted to add this, uh, a, a different rhythm here, back, okay. I'll go C, then I'm going to go D, E, F, 16th notes, whatever. I can change that note value much faster than going over and clicking it and putting it in there. Make sense? So spend a minute just kind of familiarizing yourself with that concept. Using the numpad to change your note value. Just add in random notes and random music, random values. Okay? Right now, just, just half notes, whole notes, quarter notes, whatever. Just kind of practice that. Five is your home base. So what I do with this is my left thing, my left hand, my left middle finger lives on the number five then like my, my hand can change that as I click and add notes, right? So five is my middle, the middle finger there is on five, and you kind of hit the other numbers to change the note values. And you can zip around and add notes and things like that pretty quickly that way. So take a minute, just practice, just kind of mess around with it. Okay. With this system, my right hand is always on my mouse, my left hand is on the keypad, and that's how I can zip through that. Now we'll also add in alterations that we can make using the same numpad. So before we had to go up here to the simple entry pal to change and make it a flat note or a sharp note, or maybe even dot or add the dotted rhythm, things like that. There are shortcuts though that we can use that are on the numpad that will make this a faster process. So for example, okay, I have my C, my D, and I'm going to make the third note again a C minor scale. So what happens with this one, how this works a little differently, is that instead of, instead of changing it before I add it, which is what I had to do before, I go up there and click and add a flat or the dot and then add the note, we're just going to change it after we've added the, the, the basic note value. So this is what I mean by that. If I add an E here, it's, the E is my highlighted note, that's what I just entered. Now I'm going to alter that. I'm going to make it an E flat. I'm going to hit the minus sign on my numpad. It's going to take it down a half step. Alternatively, if I hit the plus sign, it'll raise the half step. Okay. So half step alterations are used are done with the plus and minus on your keypad. So if you're going through and need to do any kind of accidental work or anything like that, that's how that would work. Same thing with that and the, the, the dotted values. If I wanted to make this a dotted quarter note to the E, I just hit the, the decimal point on the numpad and it adds the dotted value. So now I can add these things a little quicker. It's G, dot that, 16th note, 16th note, whatever, okay. Once again, I'm adding now, altering the note. Once I put it in, I can alter the note by changing it, changing the note value, changing the accidental, things like that by adding um, this or a, a dotted foot, little things like that. Make sense? On the same page still? And there's more that we'll talk about with doing some different stuff with that. Now, the, uh, the other, um, well, I'll wait for that. I'll wait for the making things rest. We'll talk about it in a second. Um, uh, but let's talk about, for example, if I wanted to make C, D, etc. in this bar here. Let me go back here. Uh, I'll just wait. I'm just going to keep on doing here. I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. If you want to undo it too, go all the way back to the beginning. And we'll talk about the third way to do this. The third and fastest way to enter just basic note values and notes on the page is one in which you don't use the keyboard or your mouse at all once you get started. 
after you add the first note, you won't touch your mouse at all. This is the method that I prefer. It's a method that is the fastest once you get used to it. Um, and I think with practice, you'll hopefully think it's also the fastest. So we'll start with the C again. 